mental health. Yeah, that's one of those issues that's real big, or should I say should be bigger in our community than it is. It's kind of like one of those things that's just swept under the rug. A testimonial of mine that I have is my younger cousins that was real close to me. Lil Uche. Dude was a real cool dude. He was a little child prodigy, to be exact. Just like a ball of energy, a ball of smiles. Anytime you seen this dude, dude was literally like a like a little teenage version of Biggie Smalls. That's what we used to call him, because he looked so much like him. That little dude right there, man, he was so close to his dad. He had a real close relationship with his dad. But down the line, his dad ended up splitting with his mom. And he ended up getting remarried and starting a new family. So you could see little by little by little, you know, they were losing that connection, that father-son connection, which I don't think at all his father meant to do. But, you know, just tending to a new family, a new wife, a new ch- new children, you know, it kind of just tends to happen. I mean, he would go over his house from time to time on the weekends and visit his dad, visit his stepbrothers and sisters and his stepmom. But you could tell that, you know, that, that, that connection was slowly being lost between him and his dad. And that feeling of acceptance wasn't there 100%. I mean, also, too, with him being a child prodigy, he skipped up like four, five, six grades ahead. So he was always in a grade range where he was in classes with kids five to six years older than him. So I'm pretty sure he had he didn't have too many or anyone at all to really connect with at times. Plus, being an only child, you know, you're in isolation a lot. So who knows what he was really dealing with at that time frame. You know, times when he was alone. Times when he was at home by himself, you know. I can remember it like it was yesterday. It was back in like, I want to say 2006. I came home and my dad gave me the news that my cousin had hung himself in his own bedroom. Sadly to say, his mom was the one that found out. She came into the room and found her son hung from the uh, ceiling. Yeah, man, that was that was my little cousin. Love that dude, man. If only he had that attention, if we gave him more attention and gave him some type of counseling for the situation we're in, we could possibly be here today. But... His life will be a lesson to the rest of us. To not ignore pain, not to ignore those mental issues, but to find help. And if we know those around us who need that mental help, let's try to push them in the direction to get help and not ignore that because too many times in our community, we just brush over such, especially with boys, especially with men. You know, we're so masculine that, you know, we we, we, we too good for that. We We don't need that. But we really need to take heed to such. Rest in peace, little cuzzo. This is Mr. Brown from Mr. and Mr. Brown Presents. Thank y'all all for watching. To keep up on this and other content, make sure you click that subscribe button. And you also click that notification button with it. Also, like and share if you enjoy. Thank you.